Last time on Nick and Friends, this loser lost the house. Now back to the show. Hello, Mr. Landlord. Hello. The, the, the sun is shining and you all look beautiful. Where is your rent? Man. Well, um, you see, there was a slight problem with the rent. This month, get I out. hope I don't love it. But Mr. Landward, too much and end up chasing this rush my whole life. Please, Mr. Landward. I built nothing get for out. myself. My kids won't talk to me, and I'm dating a girl named Chandelier who. Mr. Landward, please, I beg you. <sighs> oh, what are we gonna do? Nowhere to go. <sighs> you want the wax, guys? I have relatives in Chicago. Maybe your uncle Stan will let me stay. Oh, great. The only problem is the train doesn't allow mice or monsters. Well, maybe we can sneak in your backpack. Good idea. I can only fit three of you in there, so Munch, Chuck, and I. What about the rest of us? Uh, Sam, Fozzie, and Meanie, you guys can stay in the tent. And you can try and find money somehow. Chef Nick, catch a plane to Chicago with us, since you're allowed. Alright, great. Great, uh... Just booked my flight. I'm on plane 215. Alright, let's get packed up. <sighs> Hopefully we'll see this place again.
lost the house. No, yeah. Let's all split up, bro. Uh, me and Munch, we can go on the jumbo bus. That sounds fun. I can go on the water taxi. I can go to my place. Alright, settled. We'll meet back here tonight. Come on, Munch, let's go. Okay. And now we're going down the Chicago River. This is the only river that's ever been reversed by humans in the United States. This is the river that we dye green earth for St. Patrick's Day. You know it's already green, so that's why I say green earth. They put an orange fruit carbon in the water that makes it a kind of fluorescent green. And that's something they used to do hundreds of some years ago. And the reason they used to do it a long time ago is because all along the river was it. In between those two corn cob towers, there's a turtle shell looking structure. That's the House of Blues. Under the House of Blues, there's a real nice restaurant called Dick's Last Resort. But don't go to Dick's Last Resort if you don't have a sister here, because everybody at Dick's Last Resort is a stand-up comedian. And they will work you over pretty good. The food there is good, but it's just that at 22, during the Prohibition era, the owners at the time ate the thing they couldn't drink champagne out of the open like they wanted. So they put a Throw them neck of a champagne bottle there as an act of protest for the folks there that. He also liked the fact that on top of this jewelers building here, he could overlook the Chicago River and keep an eye on his illegal booze coming from Canada. Yeah. The Michigan Avenue we got because of the Great Fire of 1871. Well, we lost roughly one third of the city. 18,000 buildings burned to the ground. A level also below us. And that level below us is where they tore all the cars that are parked illegal in downtown Chicago. See the sign that says Central Auto Pound? That's right. That is the Central Auto Pound. Right down there. And once we go to the top of the hill, you see the smallest fire station in the whole city, 10 to 13. And why do we have the smallest fire station here amongst all these very tall buildings? Well, if you notice it says scuba team, fast boat. They only deal with water rescue. So where they are right there, they're equal distance to both bodies of water. Why do they have to be equal distance to both bodies of water? Well, we, we reversed our river. Hey, they can't go for the lake to the river. Where Madison is, Gene Gang is her name. Pier, that is our number one most visited tourist attraction. We get eight and a half million visitors a year there at Navy Pier. And to our left, there's a gold dome on top of the Intercontinental Hotel. That gold dome was supposed to be a hydrogen refueler to drop off of hot air balloons, but because of what happened in New Jersey with the Hildenburg, they never used it for its intended purpose because they didn't want what happened in New Jersey to happen in downtown Chicago. That was the largest hotel in the world in 1937. In fact, that hotel is so large, they used to film a lot of the Tarzan black and white series in the hotel. They made parts of the hotel look like Africa. Straight ahead is the Trump, the second tallest building in Chicago, the second only series of Willis. And to our left is the longest bar in the world in the atrium of the Hyatt Regency. That is the longest bar in the world right there. And there's an Apple store, which is the largest Apple store on the other side of the river. It looks like a big giant laptop computer when you see it from up top. And coming up on our left, we're going to see an Amazon Go store, brand new Amazon Go store on our left. That's where you can go in there and just swipe whatever you want. I mean scan. I meant to say scan. Scan whatever you want. Yes, I like your advice. <sighs> no life for miles. Wait, what's this?
Yeah. That was actually the tallest building in the world outside of New York City at that time. Jewelry, your money. Now fast forward to the 1960s, and on your right hand side, you have Marina City. Those were some of Chicago's first residential high rises when built in the 1960s. Called Marina City because there's a marina at the base there's of the building where you can dock your boat. Your car is parked building. above your boat. The upper floors are all residential. You'll notice all the cars are backed in. That's because you have mandatory valet. They don't want anybody coming home after a long day of work or a long night of partying, driving off the side of the building. So you always park your car for you there at Marina City. We're going to be heading down Lower Columbus. And this is why, I mean, we're going to be heading down State Street from 1921 to 1921. And that was one of the world's first movie theaters, showing black and white silent films in those days. No longer a movie theater. Now it's a venue for live performances, concerts, Broadway shows. This is stop number two, State Street, the Loop, and the Chicago Theater. Stop number two. Here, but uh, as we cross Randolph, take a look to your right, you'll see the Netherlander Theater and the Cadillac Palace Theater farther down. This is considered the theater district. State Street is also a retail district. You'll find a lot of stores and shopping here on State Street. Uh, this is Macy's, but take a look at the plaques on the corner of the building. It says Marshall Field and Company. Uh, Marshall Field was founded in the 1860s. They went on to pioneer modern day shopping in the form of the catalog, the money back guarantee, fixed pricing. All started with Marshall Fields. 2005, our hearts were broken when uh, Macy's bought out Marshall Fields, converted it to their own. They talk about the magic of Macy's. Had nothing that on nothing on Marshall Fields. Uh, the mural that was up there prior to Muddy Waters, it was uh, it was a positive message. It was a yellow backdrop, big black letters, uh, artistic font that said "Go do good." From down here, it looked like it said "Go od." So uh, the Muddy Waters up. The Burger Off on your left opened in 1898. That's the oldest restaurant in Chicago. It's a German restaurant. Opened in 1898. And they proudly display liquor license number one. They were the first ones to retrieve their liquor license after the repeal of Prohibition in the 1920s when alcohol was illegal in America. These two black buildings on your left, one story post office, these are the federal centers designed by a German architect named Ludwig Mills Van Der Rohe. His motto was, the rest is more, so just clean, simple, straight glass lines, uh, straight lines of glass and steel, compared to the other extravagant architecture in other buildings around the city. 
kind of through the business district. You won't find many, uh, there's a handful of hotels, but hardly any residential buildings. These are mainly all office buildings are passing. Keep your heads turned to the left. Here on the left, you'll see the Art Deco Chicago Board of Trade Building, which in 1930, that was the tallest building in Chicago. In fact, the statue on top, Ceres, the Roman goddess of rain, she has no facial features, no eyes, no nose, no mouth, because with that being the tallest building for miles around, they figured, who's ever going to be up there to notice anyway? It was the tallest building in the world for nearly 30 years at 110 floors. 2009's uh, Sears built the building. They stayed in the building until the early 90s. They moved out. The name stuck on it until 2009. And that is when a British insurance company came to town named Willis. They purchased four of 110 floors. Renamed the entire thing Willis. The in Chicago was a bit disturbing. Nobody hopping off. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Nope. Okay. All right, so the uh, stairs are clear. We can let people up. Nobody's hopping off. Now, Joey, we've got about, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about 12 seats up top here. Lobby, they're calling it the catalog. Because, you know, stairs in the day was the catalog. Uh, but the, it'll have new the weight of that building. I mean, yeah, to support the weight of the building, five foot thick walls. That's where the offices of Elliot Ness were located when he was here in Chicago. Oh, wow. Hmm, how are we gonna find money here? This place doesn't really seem that much of a place that would have money. Would you pipe down? I know how to get us money. Ah, ah, ah. That doesn't sound like a very good plan. Trust me, it's excellent. We'll rob the convenience store. There's a convenience store around here? Yeah, it used to be a GameStop closed turned to a Dollar General. I guess if you're sure about this, send it Fozzie in. Wait, what? Just a house. Mm, yes. The chef recommends that the blind date is an experience that that's meant to be shared with a loved one. So please, be one another. Yeah. So if I said, well, it's not like a replica. His name is Dino. He likes to dance. He also he likes to wear the merchandise of the other Chicago and team ends up winning something. Last merch he wore was back in 2016 when the Cubs won the World Series for the first time in over 108 years. Alright, we gotta just start taking these to work in the summer. Keep cool. Now, speaking of the Cubs, you'll see Grant Park over on your left hand side. Grant Park is a humongous park. It starts here where these buildings are to our left, and it's all the way down there where those buildings are in front of us. A 319-acre park. Now, there's a lot of events that take place in Grant Park every year, including, like, free stuff, like free dance classes and free, like, concerts and stuff like that. And other ones that are not so free, including Lollapalooza and the Chicago Food Fest. However, there is one one-time event which took place in this park. That is B. 
embedded in the surface <laughs> of the Aeon Center, right? Like, all of that is white stone. That is Carolina sand that Michelangelo got his marble from Seven Biz Most. Beautiful work. I just got a two billion dollars. What? What do you mean somebody already bought the house? But it just, I just lost it two days ago. Who could have bought it? Whatever, I'll call you later. What was that? Apparently somebody already bought the house. No, it was just bust in. Sonic number one! This isn't your house. This is our house. And we want you out of it. Never, 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 never! Oh, really? <laughs> this isn't over yet. Dirty rats. That's it. <sighs> we did it. He got the house back. <sighs> wow, you really took a bruising. Huh. <sighs> yeah. Well, at least we still have the two billion dollars that Chuck, want us? Well, not really, if you count all of the money we spent on the plane back here, and the drugs you got. Yeah, I forgot about that. Well, at least we still have enough money. Back? I see you got the house back. We tried to rob us. Oh, nothing, nothing. Hmm. Everyone's here now. Except Mr. Moo and Chef Nick. Whoa! Oh, sorry, I'm late. Oh, the plane just flew in. I had the skydive down. Like an iCarly. Nice. iCarly reference. Oh, hey guys, I'm back. Sorry, I'm late. I had to walk on water. All right, great. Everyone's here. Mm. Okay. All right, cut. Wait, we still have another. We still have two more seasons of this. Crap. 